In every age, men are born who, in their hearts, in the black of their blood, are warriors. But for most of us, there are no longer wars to fight. Tell us about your label. So here's what I do. I listen to music. Bands, singers, songwriters. <laughs> well, um, as you know, we'll manufacture your records and put them in the shops. And, well, that's about it. And decide which ones have a good chance of commercial success. We'll remix and edit tracks without your permission. I then arrange for them to be recorded in a sympathetic manner. We'll use your music to advertise banks and petrochemical giants. And then we, the record company, sell them to you, the general public. And if it doesn't all work out, you'll be dropped faster than a Plymouth hooker's knickers when there's a big fucking ship in town. That's A&R. Artiste and repertoire. Simple, eh? Get fucked. You wouldn't last ten minutes. You see, there's one thing you have to understand about the music industry. We have no obligation to make art. We have no obligation to make political statements. We have no obligation to make good records. We have an obligation to make money. Now, in order to make money, we may sometimes have to make art. We may sometimes have to make political statements. Sometimes we may even have to make good records. Our record company receives half a million demos a year. We sign just 10 of them. And who makes these choices? Who is responsible for dividing the wheat from the chaff and providing the soundtrack to your short life on this planet? Us, the elite. The chosen few, the best of the best. The A&R men. Imagine you're standing on wafer thin ice. Beneath your feet, you can see sharks circling. Terrible sharks with hypodermic syringes for teeth. These are your colleagues, your friends. Roger and I both have to live with an uncomfortable statistic. At some point in the coming year, one of us will probably be fired. I have no intention of it being me. What is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of life? To drive your enemies before you and hear the lamentations of them. This is the sharp end of the record industry. June is the biggest insult to humanity since a room full of Nazis chuckled over the blueprints for Auschwitz. Our jobs involve making fast decisions with hundreds of thousands, even millions of pounds at stake. It's utter garbage. These decisions are made under the influence of drugs, alcohol, peer pressure, and fear. The fear is constant because and you must understand this. None of us have a fucking clue what we're doing. But this is exactly what 99% of the great British public enjoy. The fucking animals. This is what's involved every time you say yes, Darren. Signing records can literally cost you a fucking job. Real people don't care about indie bands. Hey! With indie kids, you have to remember this. They really think that what they do matters in some way. They reckon that history will care, that they're passing on the torch, and just as they were influenced by someone, then in the future, young bands will be influenced by them. The fucking arrogance of Real people put stone cloudy and UPVC double blazing on their council houses. They buy four albums a year, and they won't hear all the fucking word. Is later and still no response to our offer on the Lazies. With each passing day, they are becoming the hottest unsigned band in the country. Whoever gets their signature is going to look like Clive fucking Davis with a six-foot cock. So what do you do? You follow the circus to the next town and stand at the back, nodding along with all the other clowns like you give a shit. We're now in scary territory. Russia's A&R manager, Tony Parker Hall. Fuck a dog. Is that, is that Parker Hall? Would it be fair to say Parker Hall is somewhat closer with the band than we are? Oh man, I already did the deal with Tony Parker. Oh. Success, Fucking thousand nuts. father Stephen. Failure is an orphan. Sometimes, as a mantra to calm myself during moments of when the going gets tough, what the tough do eat? I find it soothing to repeat all the different words I know for cocaine. Christ, <laughs> bastards magnanimous, no less. Fucking indie band. There'll be another one along in a minute. Gank, chain, nose up, bag. Derek's been talking to Parker all for a while. And he's coming straight over to us to be heard over here. I know. Beak, Charlie, Krell, Powder. I don't understand. Derek has hired. He's going to be our new head of A&R. He's bringing the lasers in with him as his first sighting. Chisel, bump, posh, door, bump, posh, sniff, ski wear, Bronson, Bolivian, Toot, Junior, Chaz, bounce, blow. He's on everything early and has a sharp idea of what he likes and what he doesn't like. What he thinks will work in the marketplace and what won't. And if it's not bad enough listening to his opinions, 
He's now asking for hours. He's thought all this through. In the way I see Really it. asking our opinions on anything. It's just some horrible test. Also, you must be mindful of Parker Hall's intention here. I mean, you understand what this little cunt is asking me. It's a nightmare. Loaded dice and poison chalices all over the fucking ship. Success with its thousand fathers laughing at failure. The lonely orphan. I really don't like the way this is going. Outflanked, outmaneuvered, outplayed. I'm looking at the karma bank, and it's bad. It's fucking bad. It's like looking at one of my own bank statements. On top of a girl band who can't sing or dance, a policeman who's extorting a publishing deal out of me, and a secretary who is blackmailing me for a job, I now have to go to the arse end of nowhere to see some poxy band. Fuck that. A sense of unraveling. Of things coming apart. Spinning out of control. And for the first time, I begin to wonder, what's it like out there, on the other side, in the real world? Christ, I fucking hate bands. We all do, Stephen. We all do. The truth is, signing bands is a lottery. But now and then, once in a while, you do witness something new, fresh, like fucking snow. Blindsided, didn't I? Sidetracked by detail and nonsense. I lost sight of the big picture. Only one thing matters in this racket. So that's why you didn't fire me. Big hit records, and plenty of them. Sort that out and you can do what you fucking like. And then you've got your work cut out. Because then the race is on. Because if you sign a proper band with songs and longevity, with sales and credibility, then you get known as that ultimate A&R accolade. Music guy, someone with good ears. You're a man of taste and discernment. A man like... And a Parker fucking Hall. At the end of the day, you're either outside or you're inside. You do not want to be on the outside. He knew the track had landed. Success is a gangbang. Lotions, lubricants, cocks all over the shop. Failure is a lonely rapist hiding in the bushes. They're all going to pay. How far? Parker Hall's been arrested. I found images. Everyone is going to fucking pay. How far are you willing to go? Images? Kids. They're fucking paying a farm. In every difficult, worthwhile endeavor, there will come a point when the easiest course of action is to abandon forward motion, to allow inertia to take over and return to the status quo. As the brave and great man who, upon recognizing this point, resists inertia and smashes on through to the far side, no matter the cost. I call this juncture the critical moment of will. You're either outside or you're inside. You do not want to be inside. The taste of victory. Savor the rusty blood of your enemies, but remember, the true warrior understands that war is not a crisis or an event, but a ceaseless state of being. Power comes from the relentless pursuit of the unattainable. There's a level of grief you'll take from doing your secretary. The red eyes, the bald Kleenexes, the substandard work, and the frosty silences in the office. And there's a level of grief you definitely don't want. Like a copper on ketamine dismembering a corpse in your fucking ensuite. Still, secretaries come and go. Bands come and go. Even executives come and go. But record companies, we're here forever. You know what they say? A&R, artiste and repertoire. What is the meaning of life, young Star Fox? It's to drive your enemies before you and hear the lamentations of their women.